Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be talking about and uh, continuing talking about water pollution. This time, we're going to talk about sediment and pyramid pollution. Sediment pollution is when dirt, sand, and other particles get into rivers, lakes, and oceans. It happened from erosion or construction activities. Thermal pollution, on the other hand, is when the temperature of water bodies increases due to human activities like power plants or industrial processes. Both types of pollution can harm aquatic life and ecosystems. It is important to protect our waterways and be mindful of how our actions can impact the environment. In summary, sediment pollution, unusually large amounts of sediments that change an aquatic environment. Sediment pollution results from erosion, can degrade water quality, cause photosynthesis rates to decline and disrupt food webs. While thermal pollution, a heat source that rises the temperature of a waterway, heated water holds less oxygen. Then we have biological pollution. Biological pollution, also known as biopollution, refers to the introduction of harmful organisms or substances into the environment. This can include invasive species, pathogens, or excessive nutrients that disrupt the natural balance of ecosystems. It can have determinate effects on biodiversity, water quality, and overall ecosystem health. It's crucial to prevent and manage biological pollution to protect our ecosystems and ensure their long-term sustainability. Biological pollution occurs when pathogens enter a waterway, causes more human health problems than any other form of water pollution. Also, we have that water treatment reduces biological pollution. Then we have the groundwater pollution. Groundwater pollution occurs when harmful substances seep into the underground water sources, contaminating them. This can happen due to various human activities such as improper waste disposal, industrial spills, or the use of certain chemicals. It poses significant, significant threat to the quality and availability of drinking water. It's important to be mindful of our actions and take measures to prevent groundwater pollution to, see, to safeguard this vital resource for ourselves and future generations. So sources of groundwater pollution include natural sources, surface pollutants leaching through soil, and leaky underground structures. Chemicals break down more slowly in groundwater than in surface water. Most efforts to reduce groundwater pollution focus on prevention. Then we have the ocean uh, water pollution, that oil pollution in the ocean comes from many widely spread small sources. Natural seeps are the largest single source. Ocean organisms bioaccumulate mercury pollution. Nutrient pollution can cause red tides. And controlling water pollution, that government regulation decreases water pollution. The Clean Water Act sets water pollution standards, required permits to release point source pollution, and funded sewage treatment plant construction. 